LSU 45, Ole Miss 20. Whew. Uh, Ole Miss. Ole Miss was up 17-3 to early in this game. And I was perplexed. I was shocked. Because I believed that Matt House was going to have some kind of a defensive plan to slow down that rushing attack. And it ended up happening. But, here, let's go on and pull it up on the screen so you can see what we're looking at. The win probability just flipped around play number uh, da, 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 number 115. Completely flipped over. And it, it really it flipped for the first time, got really close. Uh, it played number 76, right? This was so weird to see. Ole Miss, uh, fourth percentile. They had 3% explosive play rate in this game. They are not used to that. Third down success, 29% for Ole Miss. I mean, it's just absurd. Uh, what I wrote in this is Ole Miss was up 20-17 to 17 at the half and then got stomped. Outscored 42-3 to three after the 14-minute and 57 mark of the second quarter. Yeah, they got destroyed in this game. LSU's offense was rolling. Uh, let's pull up on stat broadcast so you can see it a little bit better here. The total yards, LSU outgained them by 100 yards. As far as yards per play, outgained them by a full yard per play, 6.6 to 5.6. I mean, this was this was insane. Uh, Jackson Dart, 19 out of 34, 284 yards, zero TDs, one interception. The one interception that he did have was really interesting. He got hit, and the ball went a different direction. And just the LSU defender made an absolute bonkers catch. One-handed grab, going the opposite direction. It was it was awesome. But LSU held on to this football for over 36 minutes in this game. And Ole Miss, once they got hit in the mouth, didn't know what to do. They were not successful at all. You look at the drive chart. They So they kicked a field goal before we go into the half. And in the second half, three plays and a punt, 13 plays, they got down there again, and interception, seven plays, punt, five plays, turnover on downs, and then six plays, 35 yards at the end. Uh, zone six jumped in and said Ole Miss was weaker. Early schedule propped them up a little bit. They could go eight and four. Uh, Double O'Neill is the one that asked what happened to Lane Kiffin's team. Uh, here's what happened. That defense was never that good. It just wasn't. And they got steamrolled in the second half. Uh, once you got done with the half, they LSU came out in their last four drives of this game. Ten plays, touchdown. Ten plays, touchdown. Seven plays, touchdown. Eight plays, touchdown. It was a beating in Baton Rouge. Absolute beating. So, uh, Jaden Daniels, by the way, Got to give a lot of props to him. 21 out of 28 passing, 248 yards, and two touchdowns. And they had a bunch of designed runs for him that were awesome, right? So, Williams was pretty good running the ball. 17 carries, 76 yards. That's a 4.5 per. Goodwin, 8 carries, 55 yards. That's almost 7 yards per. Jaden Daniels averaged 5.3 yards per carry. Ran the ball 23 times. 121 yards there and three touchdowns. Like, they were awesome. They had a lot of guys, eight receivers, caught passes. Keshawn Butte and Neighbors both had four catches each. I mean, it was awesome. It, it was absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, this, this Ole Miss team was a fraudulent top 10 team. And, yeah, it's it's brutal. But it is what it is. Let's, uh, let's move on from there. Cheers to LSU on a massive win. Massive win uh, going into the bye week. And they get Alabama next. They get Alabama next. Just saying. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show. <laughs>